You know I've got no problem with Orlesians, but Halam Sharal was a mess. At least under the Cune, you don't get everyone tripping on each other's dicks while the country goes to crap. Griffius had agents sowing dissent and muddying the waters. That's just it. Orle is so vulnerable. If you killed everyone in the Triumvirate, the Cune would survive unchanged. Uh, I don't know. The Cune isn't perfect, but it doesn't care what any single person wants. Orle is full of people who care about nothing else. You're doing good work, boss. I like how this Inquisition is coming. Next time you're free, why don't you come grab a drink? I'll introduce you to the Chargers. Can you tell me more about Saharan? It was a damn ugly place. Only getting uglier when I left. Between the Fog Warriors, the Talvashoth, my people, and the Vince, you were lucky to go a day without blood. <sighs> what do you want to know? What are things like for the natives of Saharan? I remember one guy. He made these things, fish wrapped in thin bread. Nice guy. Talk to him every morning. So, one time I'm asking about his bad back, and I see he's nervous, trying to tell me something with his eyes. Next thing I know, his assistants draw knives and come at my team. The rebels had forced him to poison my food. And then? I'd seen how nervous he was, so I hadn't eaten anything. A couple of my guys weren't so lucky. We killed the rebels. I lost two men to the poison, another to knife wounds. My friend who made the fish wraps died with a knife in his throat. Close quarters fight, he was caught in the middle. That is what things are like for the natives of Saharan. What were the fog warriors like? They were the worst of the rebels. They trained for stealth attacks. They made this fog. I never saw any mages, so I figured it was alchemy, not magic. They were almost invisible in it. I'd be on patrol in the market square. The fog would roll in, and before I knew it, half my squad dead without a sound. It almost sounds like you admire them. They didn't use poison. They didn't hurt civilians, and they were damn good fighters. You have to respect that. Plus, they hit the Vince as hard as they hit us. Hearing some terrified magister scream, My slaves! Where are my slaves? And the fog always put a smile on my face. Tell me about the Talvashoth. When Kanari can't handle the fighting in Saharan or lose faith in the Kune, they go rogue. They flee into the wilderness and turn into bandits, attacking everyone. They're vicious, savage. You look at them and you can see why my people needed the Kune to stay civilized. Isn't that what you did, though? Hey, when I burned out, I didn't go rogue. I reported in and went where the Ben Hasrath sent me. I'm doing my job, serving the Kune out here. I'm not some bandit. I am nothing like them. Tell me about the Tevinta people you fought. The Vince sent forces to Saharan every autumn. Guess they didn't like the summer heat. We had some good fights on the beaches, standing in knee-high water foaming red with blood, ships on fire around us. The cities were worse free bit of advice. Don't let the Inquisition forces get suckered into urban combat. Why do you hate Tevinta forces so much? What makes them so bad? It's not their armies. It's their spies. They bloodied Saharan year-round, killing loyalists, supporting rebels. Alam had no city administrator. Nobody would accept the position. The last four who held it died inside a year. Trying to conquer a country is one thing. Making it so nobody can live there, that just screws everyone. See you later, Bull. Nice talking with you, boss. Ah, you've been training. You're really making the most out of that armor. I focus more on offense myself. Only so much defense I can do, right? I'm quite big. It's not like they're gonna miss me. What about you? What made you decide to turtle up? I can take more punishment than most. I thought I might as well play to that and draw enemy fire. Hmm. Taking one for the team, huh? Well, we appreciate it. Just don't get yourself killed. You're the only one of us who can seal rifts. Anyway, 
Did you need anything, or just come by to talk shop? You said we should go get some drinks and meet your company. Yeah, come on. It'll be fun. Ah, good. We're not drinking alone. How you doing, creme de la creme? Your worship. I'm so glad he has someone new to hit with that joke. I can think of worse places to go with Chromisius. So can the chief, believe me. He loves his nicknames. Hey, when I was growing up, my name was just this series of numbers. We all give each other nicknames under the Kuhn. They ever wear shirts under the Kuhn, chief? Or do they just run around binding their breasts like that? It's a harness, Krem. Yes, for your pillowy man bosoms. Let me know if you need help binding. You could really chisel something out of that overstuffed look. Wait, are you? I didn't realize. You didn't? Well, great. Now we can all talk about it. In Kunadar, Krem would be an Akunathlak. That's what we call someone born one gender, but living like another. And Kunari don't treat those... Akun people any differently than a real man. They are real men. Just like you are. Maybe your people aren't so bad after all. Don't get your hopes up, Krem. We still come down hard on the back talk. <laughs> anyway, here's the rest of the Chargers. Or what's left of the rest. A lot of them went looking for stronger drinks. We've got Rocky and Skinner there. And over there are Stitches, Dalish, <laughs> and Grim. Crazy bunch of assholes, but they're mine. So, how do you join the Chargers? Killed some people. Skinner didn't take kindly to nobles testing their new swords on the elves in her alienage. Bull took me in. Now I get paid to kill Shams. This is actually really good behavior for her. She's not marking her territory or anything. Grim, is it? Hmm. <clears throat> Grim doesn't talk much. I'm pretty sure he's the lost king of some small country, or a chieftain. Something like that. Hmm. <clears throat> Why aren't you with your clan? Our Keeper thought I should see the world a little. Dalish don't have Templars, so they can't have too many mages in a clan at once. Now, sir, you know I'm not a mage. That'd make me an apostate. You carry a staff, Dalish. It's a bow. A bow with a giant glowing crystal at the tip? Yes, it's for aiming. Old elven trick you wouldn't understand. Were you born on the surface, or are you from Orzammar? Orzammar? I got exiled. Stupid noble crap. Also, I accidentally blew up a bit of the shape rate. Rocky's one of our best sappers. He can take down enemy fortifications faster than a golem. I'm also working on my own version of Kunari Black Powder. I've almost got it. Yeah, you really don't. I take it you're the company healer. Yes. First time I ever picked up a sword was when the Blight hit Ferelden. Never put it back down. He makes a potion that'll put you right back on your feet after even the toughest fight. It tastes terrible, though. That's because it's a poultice, sir. You're not supposed to drink it. You've got a good company, Bull. Ah, we do all right. Man can beat the Chargers, cause we'll hit you where it hurts. Unless you know what's happened with those cards and looser skirts. For every bloody battlefield will gladly raise a cup. No matter what tomorrow holds, our horns be pointing up. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for coming by, boss. Glad you could meet some of my team.